The internet is going to make it very difficult to collect taxes on services of all kinds. And after all, you can complete these transactions in cyberspace, not on the ground. You can, uh, you can, uh, uh, computer companies now are getting their uh, programming done in India. I doubt that anybody's paying any taxes on any of that. No. So that I think that the internet is going to be one of the major forces for reducing the role of government. And the one thing that's missing, but that will soon be developed, is a reliable e-cash, a method whereby on the internet you can transfer funds from A to B without A knowing B or B knowing A. Welcome back everybody, my name is Pratesh here with Kaizen Crypto bringing you guys another video. So I hope you guys are all doing well and that you're having a great day. Today is Friday, February 28th of 2020. So as you guys saw at the beginning of this video here today, Bitcoin is the e-cash of the future. As we move into the digital age, we can see that Bitcoin is becoming a scarce digital transfer of wealth. Now, what we can see as far as the price, as you guys know, you know, when in doubt, zoom out. That is true words of wisdom that I've come across in my time in this space. So for those of you who are concerned about the recent market sell-off and the correction, it's very healthy considering we did have quite a strong move out of this, uh, out of this range at around 6,600. So I just wanted to highlight this image here, looking more at the longer term perspective. You know, if you guys are trying to trade this market, um, it's a, it's a whale's game right now because the market is still so small. I think that taking a lot of the noise and the frustration out of being involved in the space is the way to do it. Uh, it'll save you your sanity and it'll, it'll definitely save you a lot of money in the long run. So that's where we're at currently. When in doubt, zoom out. So guys, what I have for you here in this video here today, we're going to be taking a look at a few uh, pieces of news talking about Cardano and blockchain related to world governments and global organizations. So first off, what I have here for you guys, educating the world on Cardano, initiatives and plans for 2020. And then the next article I have here, Blockchain for Good, how the United Nations is looking to leverage technology. All right, you guys, if you are interested in this type of content, go ahead and drop a like for me. Definitely lets me know that you guys found some value. And if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I wanna keep you guys informed and up to date on everything related to cryptocurrency. I post videos on this channel as often as I can, almost every day for you guys. So you definitely wanna stay tuned don't miss it, go ahead and click that notification bell so you get notified when I post a new video. So to get things started, what we're taking a look at here, Cardano has updated their blog. This is gonna be the latest post on their blog, educating the world on Cardano, initiatives and plans for 2020. So many people uh, who are subscribed to the channel are big fans of Cardano, I know myself included. So a big initiative that we're going to see them starting to push forward as we see more developments through the pipeline, you know, we see Shelly down the road um, and after that's gonna be Gogan with smart contracts. Their initiative is going to be to start marketing, you know, to start telling the world about Cardano. Uh, I feel like once they have a, a somewhat completed product, once they have deliverables on the mainnet, then they're gonna be able to tell the world about it. So this article is talking a little bit about that. So let's take a look here. Education has always been a key part of IOHK's strategy. Our mission is to grow our global community and business through the medium of education and to share what we've learned. By claiming leadership in worldwide education on blockchain technology, we have the chance to shape the field of, for generations and to leave a lasting legacy. A consistent theme for 2019 has been the demand for a broad range of educational content, as demonstrated by the feedback received about the incentivized test net, as well as the steady flow of support requests to our help desk. A key focus in IOHK for 2020 is to develop and expand our education materials as we transition fully into the Shelley era and then to Gogan. The IOHK education team will be investing significant time and effort this year in broadening our range of materials. We aim to enhance understanding of our technologies using a variety of learning and training assets targeted at a wide range of stakeholder audiences, both internal and external. 
This will be vital as the use of IDHK's technology moves into the mainstream. We also aim to provide knowledge and information to enterprise decision makers so they know what business problems our technologies can solve. We have lots planned and many projects are underway as we grow Cardano into a global social and financial operating system. All right, you guys, as you can see, lots of uh, in involvement here with updating the knowledge and resources here for not only users of the platform, but enterprises as well. So very cool. I mean, they uh, you got to realize that Cardano being an open source project, it's uh, it's available not only in English, but in a multitude of languages. So whatever learning resources that they're going to put out, they're going to be putting it out to facilitate the adoption and growth within all of those geographical areas. So it's crazy. There's a lot of work involved in what they're trying to do here. So 2020 is going to be a pivotal year for Cardano, and we are looking forward to playing our part. It is our aim to teach both individuals and organizations how to use the protocol and how it can help with everyday lives. We have lots to do, and we look forward to sharing all the educational content that we produce with our existing community, as well as those of you who are new to Cardano. Very cool. All right, you guys. Now, piggybacking off of this, uh, one thing I found very interesting uh, this is an article that I found by looking at uh, the Cardano Report. Shout out to you, Cardano Report. Great content. I love the work that you do. Uh, so as far as the article and what it's talking about here in this, um, uh, in this little bit, so it's saying that the United Nations is recognizing blockchain as a way to stay ahead as we move forward into this new, uh, I guess you could say, wave of technology. So as we see here in this article, it's saying the digital age, it has become apparent that we are currently at the precipice of a new industrial revolution that will be predicated on the advancement of new and currently emerging technologies, namely artificial intelligence, Internet of Things, blockchain, and others that are all finding their feet in this new digital era. For blockchain especially, it's being spread across many different sectors, with its impact being heavily felt and sought in the financial sector, thanks to the cryptocurrency side of things. However, enterprises have also started recognizing the potential for the technology to bolster business, and the UN is not letting this slide by them either. All right. Yeah, so guys, they're, they're recognizing the fact that this is going to have implications not just for finance and banking, but rather global remittances, supply chain management, uh, all that kind of stuff. You know, there's a lot of things that blockchain has a use case for. Um, namely, it's saying that there are five blockchain projects in the United Nations Innovation Network set up to facilitate interagency cooperation. For example, the United Nations International Telecommunications Union and Food and Agricultural Organization have partnered to track pig supply chains in Papua New Guinea. The United Nations Capital Development Fund is exploring blockchain for remittances in Nepal, and the UN Development Program is using blockchain to track its cocoa supply chain in Ecuador. So lots of use cases here. Guys, as you can see, uh, cryptocurrency, it's not just Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, it's, it's blockchain as a whole. I think that you know people are starting to realize now that we are on the forefront of what is becoming a fourth industrial revolution. And in this case, it's taking place in the digital era. So lots of interesting news and developments here. And tying into that, you know, how is Cardano going to be able to leverage its formal methods, its scientific approach in order to gain awareness and adoption with organizations such as the UN? So lots of interesting concept to, to think about. All right, you guys, well, that is pretty much what I have for you here in this video here today. If you guys did find some value, definitely let me know if you enjoyed it. Go ahead and drop a like for me. I would love to hear from you guys. Be sure to share any comments or suggestions for future videos down in the comments section below. And again, if you are new before you head out today, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I would love to have you guys as part of the community. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Until the next video, take care.